first uh, pre-road trip inspection video, I went through the procedure of checking everything over in your engine compartment to prevent any problems when you're on a long trip. And if you recall, I paid particular attention to those items which could result in loss of engine fluid, particularly coolant and engine oil. And if you recall, I, I quickly mentioned about the radiator neck. But, I, but this is so important, I thought it would be good to come back to this subject and actually remove the upper hose so you can see what you should be inspecting when you're checking this. So we're going to do that now. And to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and get a drip pan and drain about a gallon of coolant out of the radiator. Almost all Mercedes with plastic tank radiators have a drain plug under the car that allow you to drain the coolant. On this car, it's located on the left side. I'm going to go ahead and get a drip pan handy, loosen up this plastic plug, and let the coolant drain. And you know it here, it's coming out pretty slowly. I can go ahead and loosen up the, the coolant reservoir tank to speed draining. Now I can loosen up this upper clamp and let you take a close look at this plastic radiator neck. And just loosen the clamp enough to pull the hose straight back. Oh man, look. Oh man, can you believe this? Look at that. The radiator neck is broken, completely broken off. I wonder if this owner has any idea they just dodged a bullet. Take a close look inside here. It actually looks like the plastic has rotted out. And you can see almost half of the neck has broken, cleanly broken off here. This is something I've been warning about on my website for years. And it never ceases to amaze me that I continually see this happen on these older Mercedes. Now we'll switch over to the radiator itself and you can see how it broke off the radiator tank. Along with installing a metal insert in the neck, I've also been recommending that people use the wider US style hose clamps. I believe in this case it was the wide hose clamp that was the only thing holding this hose onto the broken neck. And I mentioned dodging a bullet. Well, let me tell you, if you're driving down the freeway and this neck comes off, you've probably got five to eight minutes before this engine will overheat to the point where it can destroy it. And unless you're watching your temper ga temperature gauges all the time, which most of us don't, this can be a big problem and often leads to catastrophic engine failure. What's the solution? Let me explain. The old bare radiators are the most prone to failure. I think by the mid to late 80s, they started figuring out this was a problem. And some of these radiators even came from the factory with a metal insert installed. Some of the newer aftermarket radiators that we sell, such as the Nissan's radiators, they have a fiber reinforcement embedded in the plastic to prevent this from happening. Now, if you do have an older radiator and it's not broken yet, you can go ahead and install the metal insert. We have a kit on our website which has the piece you need in the right size along with the correct epoxy to reinforce this neck before it breaks. If it breaks, forget it. Do not try to repair it if it's already broken. In this case, I happen to have a used radiator on hand and I've gone ahead and installed our kit because I don't want this to happen again to this owner. This type of failure is caused by a number of things. One, I believe uh, the use of the wrong type of coolant or lack of engine coolant will fatigue the plastic. You have the vibration from the diesel engine which accelerates the problem. And then the narrow hose clamps that come from the factory tend to put the load right on this part of the neck. By installing this metal insert, it spreads the load out and by using the wider hose clamp, it even expands the load further. So even if the, if the plastic does crack, you have this reinforcement in place which will prevent it from separating while you're driving. I'm going to go ahead and notify the owner what I found here, but I have a hunch they probably won't even fully comprehend the type of disaster they just kind of miraculously avoided by bringing this car in here to the shop. I hope you learned something here. If you have not already inspected and reinforced your old plastic radiator neck, I highly recommend it that you do it now. Because let me tell you, if you lose your coolant, you will indeed lose your cool.